Lindsay Ferentino's new play, Amy and the Orphans, stars American Horror Story's Jamie Brewer, Tony winner Deborah Monk, and stage and screen vet Mark Blum as three siblings who hit the road together following their father's death. The title character Amy, played by Brewer, has Down Syndrome. We chatted with the stars to learn more about this barrier-breaking production. The play is sort of about a family's relationship with their sister with Down Syndrome on the sort of eve of their father's passing, which is the last parent to die in the family. The two older siblings have to sort of decide whether they're going to leave their sister with Down Syndrome in a group care facility or if they're going to take her to live with them at their various um, homes. Well, I've been part of it ever since um, Lindsay Ferentino, the playwright. Um, it's a personal story of hers. It's kind of a memoir to her aunt, hence the name Amy. Her name was actually Amy. Then it passed away and a couple of years after the Willowbrook State School closed. The play is sort of in a larger sense about, you know, how well do we understand people within our own family and then how well do we as sort of a culture understand individuals with Down syndrome? Do we see them as individual people or do we sort of associate them with, with their caretakers? The cast, as well as director Scott Ellis, shared what makes Amy and the Orphans such a refreshing play, as well as their hopes to make those who view it more accepting. I am always attracted to material that is not limited to what you expect it's going to be. Uh, you know, if something is about a disability, your anticipation is that it's going to be earnest and um, uh, preachy, and this play is the opposite of that. It's it addresses people with disabilities, but it addresses it with humor and um, irreverence. Family is not easy. It's never easy. But I think at the core, hopefully, if you can have it, is connection. Connecting, caring, loving one another, and trying to take care of one another. And also listening, accepting, and letting go are also parts of these things that we learn in this particular show. We all make judgments and with everything you know we walk out of the door and we're making judgment and it's I think with the time that we're in now it's a nice reminder that we're all in this together we're all different but we're all in this together and we need to treat each other with that respect it's the journey that counts the destination it doesn't matter what the destination is always listen to yourself yourself and listening to the heart listening to others around you, being true to yourself, and letting the journey take you to what you feel is right.